I ran to my truck, grabbed a golf club, which it's not what was in my, that's not what they indicted me on. They indicted me on a fire poker. I never hit him with a fire poker. In this case, it's already been handled, so I could speak on it. I popped yeah. him with a golf club. And, you know, I hit him with a golf club. I hit him with a, a, a Big Bertha, a Callaway number one. It's a driver. Yeah. It's a really expensive driver, actually. But I hit him with that. And, like, after I hit him, I just remember he fell. And you could hear the golf club in the distance bouncing down the street in the cul-de-sac. Ding, 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 ding. I like looked up and I was like, oh, my God, all I got is a metal stick now because there's no head of the club. It bounced off. It Damn. broke off when I hit him. Where'd you hit him at? So, the head? Oh, yeah. Took his whole cap off. Yeah, he, uh, you know, and I've had to live with, like, I didn't have any animosity towards that guy. I don't even know who that guy was. And, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody when i woke up that morning those were not my intentions that's how and parties I, are though man sometimes you know i reacted i didn't think call 911 i mean i never called 911 in my life i who i don't know anybody that really thinks of call 911 i guess regular people do i don't know but i just seen somebody i care about getting hurt and i reacted you know i've been in foster care since i was three on and off so it's easy for me to really care about somebody that's not my blood i've had to do that my whole life so you know, like I look at him as my brother. Of course, I'm going to react. I'm going to do anything I have to do to stop him getting hurt. You know, I mean, he got really hurt. And another one of my friends got really hurt. So, you know, uh, the individual got hospitalized. And I am sorry that I hurt him so bad. I didn't mean to. I just reacted. I hit him. You know, it's not like I was aiming for his head. It's just, it just happened Lucky quick. Lucky ain't killed him, man. I know. It was the fastest two seconds of my life, dude. And, you know, he was uh, in Texas care for about two weeks when I first went to jail. Wow. And, and uh, you did a get sergeant, blessed for that three Oh, man, a sergeant would come to the door because they had me in Supermax at first because they didn't know if he was going to die or not. So they didn't know if I was going to get murder or just ag assault with a deadly weapon or whatever. And he would come to the door and say, like, you know, Sis Trunk, you messed up this time, buddy. <laughs> you messed up, man. You need to pray. You need to pray. Talk to God, man. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, that's, man, that's because they do. came to y'all's crib. I know, bro. They didn't get not a simple trespassing not, or trespassing, not a battery, nothing. That's bullshit. Nobody it sounds just like did, my bro. case, dude. You know? So bullshit, dude. It's like they posseed up to cause physical harm. They're like, hey, Death, come on. Let's go down the street and get this guy. Yeah. You know, like, Knock on the front door. That should be illegal. That should be illegal. You know what I mean? Like, Apparently all them dudes should have been held responsible for that dude getting bro, his head cracked. That's all there is to God it, man. I swear. And I pay $635 a month, dude. Damn. <laughs> how much was – did bro, you have to pay back? Like what? Good, double like 30 digits, grand or like something? 2000 over that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Just a little bit over that. And That's crazy, Like man. I've been locked up so much of that 10 years because I set 14 months fighting that. Right, they wouldn't give me a bond. So when I, I finally uh, went to court, my original judge wasn't there, and they had some other judge there. And the bonding system so weird here. So right, somebody in the free world called the bonding company to see how much it w was to get me out. Right? Y yeah. Well, apparently in Douglas County, Georgia, there's some clause. I know I'm air quoting you again. Tickle tickle. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, if you call the freaking uh, bonding company, that puts like a lock on that person. So like only that bonding company can be used. I don't know why or how that That's is, stupid but as hell. I know it's so stupid because my foster family is really good friends with another bonding company. They're just, they'll come get me. I ain't a lot up right now. I'll call them. They're like, all right, Tom, I'm on the way. Bam. I don't got to pay them nothing. Yeah. They're really good people. So uh, I got know a frequent flyer miles. You know what I mean? I got frequent flyer miles with them. So exactly, uh, I had a, I had a, I had the same kind of uh, relationship with a bondsman, Corky. I'll never forget her. Anybody get locked uh, up of Jim Beach, hit up Corky. Yeah, this guy's uh, best <laughs> bonding in Douglasville, man. They're good people, man. They will work with you. Uh, just show up for court, man. Don't make them look stupid because after you burn that card up, it's over with. It's done, you know what I'm man. saying? But uh, I couldn't use them because of someone had called now i had had so many words over the phone with this other bonding company that they just they jacked the price up on me it's like all right you want to be a shithead all right now it's this much to get you out not the original 13 percent. you know what i mean like they just made it so hard so i just said you know what i'm getting time probably on this case anyways so we'll just i'll just sit and have that 
in the tuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go towards it. Go towards it. Plus, like once you get in the mind frame of getting locked up. After you've been there for about three months, you're in that mindset now. You're not you're in the free world. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're not thinking about Instagram and all this other bull crap that's out here. Or, you know, thank God I didn't have a girlfriend at that time because I, I don't want to be one of those guys. Oh, it's my tough, God. It's tough, man. It's tough. Beating boy. the blue phone to death. Ah, ah. Ah, yeah. ah, ah. I don't want to be <laughs> that, that guy. I've done that once or twice. I, I've been that guy. Isn't that, that's a hard time to do, man. That's a really hard time to it do. It is, man. It is. You know. Calling every 15 minutes. Who's that in the background? <laughs> Jay Alonzo. I knew Alonzo was over there. <laughs> That's tank, tank Top Tony. Yeah, Tank oh, Top man. Tony and Reversible Starter Coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> Jody. Yeah, we had this uh, song in boot camp that we had to march to. Jody, got your girl and gone. Man, I, yeah. Yeah, I hated it. Well, look, let, but, let's get back into, uh, what was it, Coastal? Yeah, so from Coastal, uh, we'll say I had some guys run in for my phone. You know, they didn't come in for my phone. They actually came for somebody else's. Some guys that were pissed in another dorm because uh, one of my buddies chunked them off. He was the tobacco guy. Told him he wasn't selling them to him anymore. He's like, all right. So they rallied up. They came, took it, and uh, a multitude of affiliations who, like, joined forces that put up Hitman to hide behind so it wasn't their affiliation on the chopping block being responsible for that whole event. You see what I mean? Because not only was his stuff to it, but like I said, he was uh, charging other people's phones and other phones were put up. That was like the main put up spot. So when they took, liquidated everything and I was the, the only person left with my joint, you know what I mean? So yeah. uh, they put up a front of uh, you know some civilians to go initially pop it off the, the way it didn't look like that. It looked yeah. like they were taking up for their homies and at the end rather than a real hit taken out. But, I mean, you know how that goes in prison politics. Yeah, so. man. Uh, you know, people people sneaky in there, man. You know, they get oh, shit yeah. done the way they want to get it done, man. Uh, you have, so they shipped you from Coastal because of that situation? They Your level boosted, oh, yeah. I'm guessing? They got and, me uh, out of there. Uh, yeah, so I got some uh, stripes or whatnot, and they sent me to River Bend. Bend is, um, I forget what that's called, like a CRC camp. It's a privately funded geo camp. So the people, I believe, that own Guantanamo Bay, that oh. like run it, yeah, yeah, that run it, it's a privately funded. I could be wrong about Guantanamo. That's what I was told there by the officers. They, it's called Geo, G-E-O. So, like, they have their own, like, it's like when you go to, um, Jackson is the main hub. That's the main prison for Georgia. They control the count, the statewide counts, all that. That's where everything reports back to Jackson. So, And that's you go the capital there, of Georgia, right? No, Atlanta is the capital. Atlanta is? Oh, yeah, okay. Boy, when you I'm, I'm going to edit that out. Dome, that 24K on that roof, that's when you know you're in the ATL, man. I'm, I'm, I'm editing yeah. that out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so so Atlanta's the capital, right? <laughs> yeah, Atlanta's the most, yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Uh, so you're in there, okay? That, yeah, that's the main prison. So, they, so that's the main diagnostic center. So um, I keep air quoting. I need to stop this shit. It's hard, it's, man. It's hard. <clears throat> so uh, <laughs> all the prison buses are out on the yard, and then you kind of get told where to go and, you know, you get quarantined with what bus is going where, and then they go to the, your camp. Well, the geo buses are super fly. It looks like, you're like, damn, what are those buses? They're different it's like from, you're going you know, home. the bluebirds. Yeah, I was like, and they're like, oh, that's the geo. And then I ended up getting on that bus. I was like, when you get in it, you're like, fuck. Yeah. Oh, man. It ain't that's as good a, looking as it is. Look, no. No, nah, but the good thing about River Bend was it's all inside. So it's the only camp I've ever been to that had air conditioning. And oh my God, just Sweet, that huh? humidity alone was worth God, it. dude. <laughs> Georgia heat, man, in the summer is brutal. Yes, it, it is. is brutal, especially when I did tier two. They put a metal hood over your window, so you're just like baking in there. It yeah. is. Oh my God! I didn't lose that's weight. That's so messed Delayed. up, man. How they can put people in places like that with no AC, oh, man. man. That's that's hell, Bro, man. Tier two. I was on the second top tier too, so you know heat rises. Yeah. So there's no fans running out in the main corridor of the dorm. There's nobody out there. Why would they cut the fans on? But it yeah. just there's no circulation out there. Then they put a metal bar under the bottom of your door so you can't fish. 
you got to yep. be real, real good to fish. So then there's no air being sucked in through draft under your door. Cause, Just straight hot box. Oh, my God, dude. You will lay literally, yeah. if not naked, in your boxers on the floor all day long, man, and just I'm laying in a pool of sweat. Yeah, man, that's it how it was rough. for uh, me in Greensville, man. The walls used to sweat in the morning time because oh, it would be cool there, at night. Dude, all your stationery is stuck together. If you order yeah. stamps, and shit, all, it's all stuck God, together. God, you, you just reminded right me of all my stamps that were yeah. ruined, man. Yeah, you can't even Damn, write I home. Forget. And the <laughs> coffee. The coffee will melt oh almost together God. like will, fudge. Yes, like a rock. Yeah. Dude, you can't drink it. <laughs> that's unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, that they yeah. would put people in a building like that where freaking instant coffee will break down and melt together, man. You know it's what I mean? It's crazy, dude. You can literally wipe the wall with your hand and sling all the condensation build up. It's like yeah. sweat. Sling it on the ground and it's see sick, it. Man. It's like it's, it's the craziest thing, dude. It's crazy. Whew, man. Boy, yeah. you, you feel it. Like, around this time, when Halloween rolls around, dude, you are so thankful. Yeah. You're like, thank you, Jesus. Thank God for season change, uh, you know? Uh, yeah, they really and they take everything from you on tier two. So, like, you only have, um, you allow one religious thing, whether a Quran or a Bible, and 10 stamps at first. The reason they call it a tier, it's like a plateau. So, there's steps to it. When yeah. you first get put there, they take everything. And you're called uh, what we call a state baby. So, if yeah. the state issues it, you that's what you state get. Shit. Shit. <laughs> you got a hole in your door that opens up and they actually made the hole smaller. Because I'll tell you a crazy story. Somebody was sneaking out, tying up the orderly taking his clothes, went out on compound, stabbed somebody up, came back, changed out, told the orderly he better stay in there and not say nothing and he's going to die, put back on his clothes, climbed back through the hole and was in his bunk. You know, so they investigated it, I swear to God. That's I swear crazy, to God, man. I swear. It sounds like unbelievable, but I, I no, promise it sounds you that unbelievable. is real. That is real, bro. <laughs> the, it, the prison system is so corrupt. The guards, all right, think about it. Like, these prisons are in, the, like, the craziest, countryest, janky-ass towns, bro. There's nothing there. Like, the prison is, like, where the, the everybody works. Like, everybody that lives there that makes anything over probably $7 an hour, you know, maybe $10 an hour, they work at that prison. So, uh, and you got to think, like, these people, after working there for so long, they're affiliated and have taken, you know, Friendship to certain people, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Like yeah. after you're around someone for so long, it's inevitable to to Bond establish any, yeah. either a positive or a negative repertoire. You know what I mean? Like I'm not sure if I said that right, but repertoire. whatever. I don't know, but there it sounded go. good as hell, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, and you know, you got to think of it like convicts got nothing. So I mean, it, they got nothing but their talk game. And that's yeah. anybody and everybody in there. Mean and some people game, are man. masters, bro. They are masters. Some I've seen people actually get their girlfriends to go through the system to get hired on at a prison to if they didn't get put on at the prison they're at to work for one of their brothers and a, their organization and have stuff coming in. You know when you pull Non-stop, up to a prison that's and you're on the bus, country. Yeah. If you see Mercedes and BMWs all in the drive in the parking lot before you get out to go into the prison, you know you had a good camp. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be plenty of phones, plenty of everything. Yeah. And <clears throat> they just issued tablets, actually, when I left. I didn't get one because I was on the Tier 2 program, but uh, they gave, in Georgia, everyone got tablets. I wish Damn. I would have known. I would have told my foster dad to like, yeah. buy stock and JPay. <laughs> yeah, they were given uh, these little mentor tablets. They're, like, real thick, though. Oh man, these look stuff. like the like the regular Samsung joints. They're like Damn. this big, yeah. Serious, and they have weird man? games, dude. Listen, they have like an app store with the weirdest games. It's like oh uh, God. Code I Breaker, and it's a master lock. But you gotta like spin the dial this way and this way to like break the lock. I was like, they are teaching these inmates like implanting it into their brains because usually the the regular inmate isn't real educated. You know, they usually <laughs> dropped out of school. Yeah. They're young. They got 20 years for an armed robbery, and you're making a game and a tablet that you're issuing to them that's like break How to open break the lock. Into locks. <laughs> like, what the hell? Why would you even put that idea in their head? Yeah, like, they probably just, want you to escape, so they add a couple five man, pieces. I'm not talking on about there. escape. I'm just talking about like because we got this thing called double O boot, right? Yeah. Double zero, and then boot that motherfucker. I'm yeah. getting everything in your box. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you got a master lock on it or not. That's the combination. 
Yeah. And then you can sleep a lot, man. Like, I learned so much in prison, man. Like, you can take, I can show you how to make a lock where it looks fine, but I can just click it down and yep. it's over with. Yeah, you I think used to you do it with it? Uh, soda cans. A little sliver exactly. of soda so you can. Know how little... to, yeah, exactly. Ah. We'll, yeah. we'll take a little piece of razor. Yeah, we call it sliver. Well, razor, yeah, I've done a razor before too, but they were a little. Yeah. The, the cans were a little thinner and could fit up in that groove a little better or whatever it was. Okay, it was, okay. You know? All right. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so, okay, so you are you went home from Riverbend? No, hell no. So um, oh, I went to Riverbend, and that's actually where the whole, like, Ghostface thing came into full swing. Uh-huh. Um, so I, Had to put I, in a little they work. say the idle mind is the devil's playground. Uh-huh. No, it's not really like that. Uh, okay. I guess to put okay. in some work. So I, I, it depends on who you are and how you yeah. carry yourself and <clears throat> how resourceful you are, you know, what you have to bring <clears throat> to the table. <clears throat> yeah. Like I said, like uh, it's really about money at the end of the day. And, uh, like I don't see black or white. You know, I don't know any of my brothers that do. You know, and it's, we see green, you know. Yeah. And that's how it is. You know, you can play. So just for people to know, in Georgia, I'm sure – you can play poker and stuff with other races yeah, and all that and stuff. It ain't nothing I, like West Coast me, politics. I wouldn't know what to do if I was put in a situation that I couldn't. Yeah. Like, how? why would I get in trouble for hanging out with my homie? You know what I'm saying? I grew up in, like, black foster families and stuff. You know, like, yeah. I just, I, I couldn't comprehend that if that was the case. But I guess if I was in that situation and grew up that way, that's what I would think. That's exactly you know? how I so, feel, man. It's crazy. But, crazy I, I don't know yeah i see grizzly you know he, obviously y'all are not the same ethnicity and y'all are yeah. super tight so yeah. y'all y'all did time together or whatever so i assume y'all talked and did things you know played oh, yeah, together right. and we were whatever. doing all so, kinds of dirt and yeah y'all are hanging so you know like yeah you totally see what i was saying so yeah i just don't understand it that's just wild to me yeah it is but I, it's just a whole different world out there that you know oh, yeah. that I'm just very fortunate that I didn't have to endure that along yeah. with what I was already going through. Yeah. So what is the so, hellacious place? So from Riverbend, actually I got shipped from there because, um, there's like a big joint effort for a move to go down and the move got messed up and the, the contraband was all left out in the wide open, but it was kind of like, so it's like if I had something in plain sight, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, no one's so gonna see it. I really don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to say like hey, all of it because I yeah, got to. Still I understand that, exactly but let's just what you say, mean. To get to that, to where that was, I had the solution. You know what I mean? And it was kind of like everybody was too scared to do it. And I was like, you know, what? fuck it, get me this right here, and I'll make it happen. So I made it happen, and all of it got retrieved and dispersed the way it should have. So you know, that got me a lot of props from a lot of people in a lot of different places. Yeah, yeah they're like, sure. holy shit. The, you know, they counted that as a loss. Party. You, know? but, you, just, you just cranked yeah. up the party, my friend. What? Oh, yeah. Trust me, dog. It was going on and popping. But three days later, I'm asleep in my rack. And I, I wake up. I'm on top of the Boom, 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 boom. Scared the hell out of me. I wake up. And there's like eight certs surrounding me. And the cert team is like the goons. They're the, like the super yeah. cops. They're like uh, the NFL rejects. They didn't quite make it all the way on the NFL, but these guys are steroided out, huge beast country boys, and they will yeah. beat the living shit out of you. I've seen the craziest shit. <laughs> they don't play, bro. They don't play. Yeah. But uh, I wake up to them, and they're like, so you like the uh, – Da, 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 da. This is what happens when you do this. So they make a public spectacle of me in the dorm, and I'm like, you're going to tier two. I was like, oh, shit. Shit. You know, they were going to try to charge me with escape, but I was like, you know, easily you can see that that was not the case. Like any, yeah. I, I didn't touch any chance to let it exterior anywhere. You know what I mean? So yeah. what happened was someone got jealous in another organization and, uh, you know, I'm not going to say that just I'm going to cause problems for my brothers that are down and somebody saw this or whatever. So, uh, we'll just say that somebody else didn't like anything that went down. They snitched because it's the only way the police found out about it. <laughs> and they came to serve me uh, three days later after the move had taken place. So everything was fine and dandy. You couldn't tell nothing ever happened. You know, there's no way nothing ever could have got exposed besides that. But 
so I went to the hole. I sat in the hole for about two weeks, thinking, like, damn, I'm going to tier two. This sucks. So they shit me. I, I go to uh, <clears throat> Washington State Prison, and I think I'm going to tier two. So when you first get to prison, they're like, sorting out who's here and where they're going, they put me in general pop. <laughs> I was like, shit, I ain't going to say nothing. The hell, I'm yeah. just going to ride out population. So you're going supposed to to, you were supposed to go to tier two, which is all what, That's like That's what they segregation. were telling me the whole time, but yeah. I guess they didn't do that. I'm, oh, trust me, I eventually made it to tier two. It was yeah. destined. Yeah. <laughs> it was destiny, <laughs> but for a whole different <laughs> ordeal. But uh, so I was there for a while, and you know, I did my thing there, and uh, – got shipped from there i actually thought i was going back to court on this uh dui that was hanging over my head but uh that i never answered to but it ended up i went to the tc a transitional center so when i got to jackson i thought i was going to county back to county to handle a court case and come back uh just get time served on it but so you're going home actually, your shit's wrapping up right now yeah i'm getting towards kind of i'm like in the last year of it yeah at and this you point. do the so it's like a it's kind a transitional like a, center. Yeah, like a prison to kind of get you ready for the streets. Yeah, it's like you go work a job and then you come back or what? Oh, no, like a real it, street job? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Where were you working yeah, at? Yeah, what? Uh, I didn't make it that far. Uh, my first <laughs> day there. My first day there. <laughs> oh, God. Let's hear uh, it, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when I get there, you know, all my brothers, they put me in a the game. They give me all these real clothes. They deck me out put money in my pocket, fill my box up with food, you know, welcome home type thing, real good homecoming. And it was like, shit, here's the, here's the touch. You know, we call phones flips and touches. The flip is a flip phone and a touch is a skateboard or, or, or we call them skateboards too, but and I still call them out here. People are like, what? Yeah. I'd be like, pass me the touch. They're like, what? I'm like, God damn it. The phone, dude, pass me the phone. <laughs> so, uh, they used to give me the touch. And I don't know if you know what CL20s are, but they're the big. Hell yeah, I had the best damn pair of The man. clear janks. I was you know, the only one that knew how to fix them joints just right. Oh, no. man, look, I can fix anything, man. I learned how to solder in prison. Yeah. I can fix anything, dude. Uh, a radio, a tuner box. I didn't even know what a tuner box was in an FM radio. It's like what catches the frequency. I can fix just about anything. It's amazing, man, man how we learn so stuff like so that. They put so much solder on the, the board. As it is, you just take the extra solder or the the flux and stuff off of that. I'm not sure which. It's one of the two, but you just take the extra off of that, and that's what you use yeah, to solder. We use, like, hair grease and a paper clip, and it, it'll stick the wire to where it's supposed to go real yeah. good. Like, yep. But, yeah, I made a lot of money fixing stuff, too, man. CL20s. On, Damn, I ain't heard that shit in a minute, dude. They, they I think they discontinued them, They actually. probably did, dude. They probably did. They, they that's been a CL20, while. The littler ones, but... um. Yeah, I, I I hadn't seen a good new pair of CL twenties in a minute, and you only can get them on package. Yeah. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So I went to the TC, and they actually did me dirty. So my first day there, I'm on the phone, and uh, bro's like, "What do you?" I said, "Dude, I want to watch a flick, bro. That's what I want to do." He's like, "Shit, here you go, go back." So I'm back in the bathroom. I got the CL twenties on. I'm Damn in the, flicks in the with the TC. CL twenties. Look, what? there's a there's like a brick wall. It's a partition. It's only like this high like you can see your head but so it looks like i just got a walkman on taking a, a, a deuce so i'm sitting there dude I, i'm going in watching a flick and all i see is the tip tip to a black boot standing in front of me i look up like oh what the hell it's a cop and i can't hear what he's saying because i got it so loud on my head oh my 20s, god right? and all i see is like he's saying give me the phone <laughs> So my brother said, <clears throat> my, I hear my brother yell, bust that bitch. So I just slam the phone into a million pieces on the ground. That way they can't get no pictures, see who called who. Yeah, all oh, that's a wrap, right? Yeah. And then I picked up a little bit of it and threw it in the toilet and hit the flush button because he was just so bewildered. And he weighed like 20 pounds soaking wet, this little bitty cop did. He oh, went yeah. about to try to manhandle me. So what he had left to retrieve, it really wasn't even good enough because they couldn't really stick me with a DR. Well, they, I guess they did, because I got charged $500. If you get caught with a phone in Georgia, if they don't take you to court, sometimes they will take you to court and hit you with a free will charge. <laughs> they charge $500 to your book. So like, let's say like my foster mom puts money on my account They're to go to canteen off top. You know what I mean? So yeah. 
They hit until me for you pay it, any money that comes on your books until that 500 is paid off, right? Exactly. So yeah. then I went to the DR court, and lieutenant told me, you know, it, everybody gets caught with falling. It's okay. No big deal. Just make this your last time. I was like, man, it's my first day. I just want to call my mom. But it was clearly on the DR that I was not calling mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What he <laughs> caught me doing. In the event he, he was watching the, the film, the party, he probably named yeah. the, he probably uh, described the Dude. whole scene and everything, didn't he? And it was a female lieutenant, bro. It was really embarrassing. I was just like, man, come on now. I've been in state facility this long. You really blame me? You know what I mean? Like, I think anybody would have, but I ate the apple and I shouldn't have. You know what I'm saying? I should have been more aware of my surroundings. I was too happy, too content. Thinking, you know, my brothers had everything on lock. They got me. He's watching out for me. But the cops came in the back door and got me. It's, their, it's night their damn home. fault, man. They should have been looking out better, man. For real. They get y'all probably just got a little too uh a little too comfortable. We got, yeah, a little too content. So uh I thought, you know, that was the end of it. Because she told me she wasn't gonna ship me. Well, they told me that they got a new contract at a different T C with a chicken plant and they need like twenty guys right now to fill this up so they can keep this contract. So that's how it does. Like these companies get like special tax write-offs and all kinds of weird stuff for being affiliated with the TC and hiring these guys, right? These guys yeah. that are in these programs. So um, they told me I was doing that. Well, when I got back to Jackson to get on my bus to go to this new TC, they say a different camp. And the camp they said there's a level five. It's 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 the belly of the beast. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. not where anybody wants to go. It's one of the prisons that when you're in the county and you're like, God, I hope I don't go yeah. to you you know, this one or this one or this one. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. That one. And that's the one that they said. I was like, do they have a TC there? Like, <laughs> this is a mix up. And they're like, no, nah, there ain't a TC here, buddy. Come on. I was like, oh, they, 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 they getting your hopes up all kinds of ways over there, man. And and, and, there to Macon State. This is Macon State. So at Oglethorpe, Georgia. So I get there and the the whole dorm's on lockdown for a stabbing that happened two days ago against two guys in the same organization. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the hell? And they're like, Yeah, man, it's crazy down here. I'm just like, Shit, I got two packs of cigarettes. What's up? The door's <laughs> locked. Ain't nobody robbed me. You know what I'm saying? Let's get yeah. some food in here. I'm talking to my bunk mate. He's like, Hell yeah, I can sell these. Hold on, he's under the door yelling. So I sell pretty much two packs of cigarettes. So I'm the man in there now. I'm the new guy that came in because they ain't seen no cigarettes in a hot minute. So that got me on good graces. And when a week later, the doors pop. So I got to communicate with my brothers because, of course, they want to know who the who you know the new crack is that's in here. So I introduced myself, and we established, you know, I'm I'm 100. So whatever, whatever, and uh, tried to get to start to work, and uh, I mean, I got shut down. Another stabbing. I mean, it's like there's so many stabbings that they reward you. If you don't stab nobody in a month in your dorm, you get a special plate. And they, like, make a plate. It might be fried chicken one month or something like that. To where yeah, what like was the name of this place again? Making State. It's a, it's a level five camp, bro. It's super serious there. Oh, super wait. What did you say? Making State? Making State. M-A-C-O-N. Making State. Okay, I'm going to look that up when I'm done. Super serious camp, bro. Super serious. It's one of the heavy hitters. But, uh, so, you know, it, it's hard to do anything there because so many stabbings and they lock, they lock the dorm down. They, they, it got so frequent that, you know, they're not going to lock the camp down anymore unless it's just something super crazy. They just lock the, do the dorm down. Probably like once every other month or once a month, you hear a helicopter come and land. We call yeah. that, uh, life lighting up out of here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? No, we all, uh, life, they life. say we're going to get you up out of here. And if you hear a gang member say that, <laughs> you got to have a bad day, dog. They're about to pull you out. Your inside's going to be on the floor. And I've seen it a lot. Yeah. A lot. When you see blood the color of, like, grape jelly, that's a deep, that's a lot of blood. When you yeah. can smell the iron of it, you know what I mean? When you can I know smell that the blood. Smell. Bro, it's insane, dude. And when, you know, you get accustomed to seeing that when you're putting a, a, an establishment where it's socially acceptable to stab somebody, for instance, me and you were playing poker and you're like, damn, uh, Saint, what'd you do to him? Be like death, man, you know, I'm gonna let this one slide. And, and then you're like, Saint, you ain't gonna stab that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna look at me sideways. Cause I ain't hitting his ass. You know what I'm saying? When you're in that type of environment where it like 
stabbing someone that socially accepted it's frowned upon if you don't you know what i mean that that's crazy man that just goes i that a, should just put it into a uh, perspective a lot for of people can't wrap there. their head around that you know that yeah. a lot of people can't wrap their head around that's what it is you know what i'm saying you either get with it or you lay down yeah so and you know like civilians can make it they can but i mean that's few and far between bro you know you, you got to be one hell of a guy to not get fucked with and be a civilian you know yeah yeah but, I mean, they just if you're a civilian, you you're either going to be associated with an organization just because you're around them so yeah, much, just like chill with your them homies. A lot. Yeah, you feed them. You know what I'm saying? You but you get store on Friday. You bring in your food to help cook with them. You know they're gonna make sure you ain't getting taken advantage of. You know what I'm saying? But you just ain't gonna be no civilian. This is dead. Oh, I'm a bullet man army. Ah, oh, yeah. no. Nah, then people like to make spectacles of that you know what i mean they like yeah. to get a name off of that type stuff people prison's nothing but people preying on the weak man you know what i mean like i've never just seen well maybe rarely i've seen you know somebody just go at something that they didn't know was a sure thing you know what i mean yeah but <clears throat> it's a lot of preying on the weak in there yeah, even if you're not uh affiliated you know you got to get up with someone, man. You know, ch uh, at least yeah, chill yeah. with someone. You know, uh, I was a lone wolf, well, but dog, I chill with killers. You know what I mean? Yeah, so nobody going to fuck with me too, because though, right? we, we might kill you. <laughs> yeah, was well, you a tattoo man? Was oh, yeah, I was. I was on my first bid, uh, second second bid. Headache, I didn't do it. Yeah. I was about to say, it becomes a headache, man, especially yeah. if, you're, if you're not affiliated because I've seen tattoo man get extorted. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh man, like or people I like. I seen it too. My, my homeboy was getting extorted. Yeah. You know they don't want to pay for the. Pe oh no, you 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 scarred me up. And then now you got tattooed five hundred people for X amount for nothing. You know, like and it's it's, it's crazy, man. It's it crazy. is, man. I told a story. I made a video called. Uh, you know, I can't remember what the exact. I seen the like, rose. Tattooed. It was a rose you tattooed. Um. Did you do that on your uh, No, wife? I'm talking about, like, I made it. This wasn't actually tattooing. It was just talking about how tattooing in prison can get you killed. Oh, it'll and, get you killed in a yeah. heartbeat. Bro. A lot of people think it's, it's get... sweet, and sometimes it is, but there's other times where, look, man, a freaking, uh, so, uh, you know, someone with a lot of rank could come in there, and look, if you don't do tattoos for all of them, they're going to yeah. get you. You know what I mean? And, oh, yeah, and, they will. And that's how it is. It will. Man, so. There's no question about it. Dude. It's a very dangerous game, man. And uh, it's very worrisome, too, because everybody and their mom wants a damn tattoo. Exactly. And they want to tell you the story behind it and why they got Look, man, I got some tattoos that have a meaning, bro. But after a point, I was just like, bro, put that there, put this there, fill that in with that. Blah, 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 you know what yeah, I'm saying? So a lot I, of my stuff's affiliation, I, and yeah. I had to earn certain tattoos yeah. and where they're at. But. You know, a lot of my feeling, like the cheese work Just and stuff like that. Just a bunch of craziness, little, yeah. Little bumper stickers, scratch and sniff stickers, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But, yeah, I've seen tattooing go bad. It's never went bad for me because I, I never just established myself as a full-time tattoo man because I had other things going on. Like, I was making liquor and stuff like that. That was my first hustle because I don't have nobody sending me money. So uh, I started making liquor until I could get the phone. Then I started working on the phone. And... That's pretty much how I sustain myself. Yeah. At that point. And you and said you know how to make work, a uh, water prison machine, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's from the water pressure. All right, so let me explain it to you. you I'm gonna tell you the, this. Uh, hold on, hold on. Don't. You know what? I only want you to explain it to me. You know what you what I want you to do, man, if you can. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee this will get it's you cool. a ton of views, bro. Because you know what popped my channel off was a prison tattooing machine. You know what I mean? Yeah. You make a water you prison machine. I guarantee. <laughs> Look, I'm going to put it out there. I'll play it and re review it for you. I want to see it, man. I guarantee that would draw a lot of attention. You know what I mean? So oh, think yeah. about that. You know what I mean? They don't do that in other states. I've never seen it. Well, my homeboy, Grizzy, he's in jail right now. Uh, Hampton Roads Regional. He said there's a cat in there doing it off the water sink, off the water pressure. So, But I've never seen it, man. I've never seen it. All it once. is is, okay, a tube gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It forces Water, yeah, water to a feed. Okay, so you know the hair grease that yeah. the, the African Americans get in yeah. there? The palm so that stuff, can, yeah. Exactly. It comes in that circle, little short 
Dang. Yeah. I'm, wait, the camera's wait, over What was it called? Okay. Crown Royal or something like that? Yeah. Exactly. I think that's exactly Royal yeah. Crown. I, I Royal, Crown. Royal Crown. That's what it was. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, you, you need that container. <clears throat> you, all right. So you used to be able to get Coke cans. Like yeah. you get great. Yeah, there were some cans when I was in there too, yeah. So you're going to need a piece of metal that's thin like that. We use the can. But pretty much you make a – you fold uh, – you you unroll the can it's where it's a flat piece of square metal so you take the tops off of it and then you make like a little fan you, you twist like a fan in it and that fits inside of that that water goes in there and it spins it right so the oh. tattoo gun is a rotary machine the oh. water in this thing spinning is God. what makes it so That's and the water crazy. is coming out of like the sink, a, uh... and the runoff goes in back into the toilet you see what I mean? So you got to, it's weird tattooing and getting tattooed because you have to like sit all in the toilet on the shit jack and like hunched over and, and you're all in a real small area. But yeah, it works good, man. But it's all right. So you know how like you normally have to tattoo? When I did my hand, I did my hand right here. My hand was so swollen for me. Like I would try to like put it between my knees and stretch my skin out and then yeah. tattoo my hand. Dude, it was so swollen. My hand was like this for three days. Yeah. Oh my God. But um, you know, like you gotta go over it like three times with a with a, a tattoo you machine, go over uh, it much a more, prison huh? gun, rather yeah. than uh, I found that like yeah to get it to like really lay and stick, especially like on the hands and like different areas like that, like the hands, the fingers, you really got to make it make it stick. The wrist, anywhere that you bend at, you got to lay some good lines. Yeah, you got to go it, nice it'll, it'll, and it'll slow come out, stuff, You know huh? what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, little baby circles, man. It's all about that. I try to tell people that draw, too. If you can tattoo a money bag, a money sign, different pointed stars, five, six, seven pointed stars. You can make some you're money, You're in baby. there. Yeah. You're in there. It's all That's they all want. That's all you need. And some yeah. bricks. Money bag, yeah, and, <laughs> and flames. Maybe some flames and a gun. Like, you're in there, man. Yep. Tattooing in, in jail is so easy. But like it you is. said, it could take your life, man. Yeah. If you ain't if you ain't one hundred. And people you know, like I'm I'm cool and like laughy ha 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 like out here, but in there I'm still oh, yeah. Tom and I'll still give you the shirt off my back, but at the same time there's a certain seriousness because I I'm not gonna play with my life, I'm not gonna let nobody else play with my life. Oh yeah, you got you got and, to and they will. Your mind's they gonna will flip hundred and eighty, man, when you get in there, Bro, man. Like, you know? Like I said, I, uh, Macon State, they eventually uh, did come in for my phone, and I got stacked with a piece of sense over here, and I was laying on my bed like this on the phone, like stretched out on the bottom bunk. I had my knife up under my pillow. Cause if you're in level five prison, I you have to have, have a knife, knife. Yeah. at all times. I might not hide it. I might make a civilian have it real close to me. That way if a cop comes and runs down on me, I don't have it. Because the knife charge will get you sent up out of there to the tier program, um, but you know, and the civilian will take the fall for it or whatever, or your tattoo gun or whatever. You always have a fall guy, so or your phone. Like I don't put my phone up in my room. You know what I'm saying? My phone's yeah. close by, but I don't got it. Somebody else is gonna take the fall for that 500, not me. Yeah. So, and that person knows that they get to use it, and you know what I mean. Like I'm not. A, that's usually how it goes. Some people are extorted. I don't typically on that type of you know what i mean like i feel like you get more flies with honey than sh than vinegar you know what i yeah, mean for sure and so i never you know i mean i could but i just never was that type of person if you treat someone like like they're appreciated they're going to do a lot more for you you know what i mean than as opposed to you better do it or i'm going to kill you you know like yeah. all that is unnecessary roughness flag on the plate you know, they're going to cross you when they get the chance. So instead of setting it up like that, you know, my fall guy, I take pretty good care of. But, um, yeah, they came in from my phone, and they got a surprise. And he actually left his buddy. Two of them ran in, and one of them got me in the arm. But when I popped up with the, the, the lawnmower blade, the lightsaber, boy, they was goddamn, ah! And he <laughs> ran, and I just, uh, I, luckily, I kicked the door shut, and it locked. Right, and the button's in here. So I went to town on the, on Buddy, and I kicked his out up under the door. So the regular dorm, they don't have that still play on the door, so there's plenty of room up under so the door. You poked him up. Oh yeah, poured him out. Hell yeah, yeah that's the guy dude. that Boy, got you in the arm. Me. Fuck you, yeah, got oh, you. Oh okay, I thought maybe the guy yeah. stabbed you got away. 
No, the one that got me, I had in the room. And actually, I let this fool use my phone, not to, like, that same day, call his mom to get a dot. You know that's what I mean? Like, crazy, man. I was blessing people. If I wasn't working, because that's all prison, like, in Georgia, every dorm is scam central. They're going to teach you. It is a school of scamming. Boy, like, I... They will tell you something so stupid, and you'll be like, man, ain't no way nobody going for that shit. Man, people are making thousands of dollars all day, every day in Georgia Penitentiary. Oh, I believe it. Scamming on the phone. Hell yeah. So, but, so, I mean, I, you know, I was like, well, I could make liquor and make $25 a gallon, or I could save my money and get a phone and then make a thousand in 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so I went that route, but that puts all a lot more danger on you. You know what I mean? A lot more danger. Yeah. But uh, so I had to get up out of there for that. Damn, my bad. My cat is wigging out. <laughs> so they came and yoked you up out of there for that. They didn't give you no street charge. No, I didn't get no street charge. Nobody ever really gets street charge unless you like murder somebody or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's socially you hold, after you had him locked up in the cell, I'm guessing you probably held back a little bit and just let made sure that he was actually going to stay alive. No, I actually got the phone and I was telling him I'm about to video call his mom and let him tell her what the hell he just did while I'm stabbing his ass, what I was trying to do. Damn. Yeah, I ain't playing. I mean, the whole bag. I mean, of course, I don't want no murder charge. You know, I don't well, There you go. That's guy. what I mean, I hold back. Time, but... At if you wanted time, them there, really... you could have gotten one, gotten them done one shot, you know, in the neck. Yeah. So you had to have held know, back man. a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean, I see what you're saying, yeah, but at the same time, I was letting him know I ain't playing with you, boy. Yeah. And all yeah. his brothers are in the window trying to come in. I wedged toothbrushes in the door, so when they put, pop the electric to open yeah. the door, all them janks ain't coming in on me and getting me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? We had a little wooden block that we used, a little tiny one. Yeah, that, that was in that corner shape. Mm -hmm. Right in the corner, ain't coming in. Perfect. They can't. Yeah. They can't get in. I swear yeah. they can't. Cops can't get in. They got to take the window out. That's, that's, that's why floor. they don't have windows there because yeah. they would have to do something like that. They, we didn't have no, no windows in our cells. It was just a. Oh, we have windows, yeah. We had, we we had a window, windows. but there was no glass in it. You know what I mean? So we could reach our hand out and put the mirror out and actually look down to the corridors oh, and man. stuff. Yeah. Oh, there would be, CO, yeah, be COs coming. The females come by, put their arm in the window. Oh, my God. Do a little hand dude. jank and, and walk off, do, do it to the next person for like 300 Bro. bucks ahead. You know what I mean? Bro, the Mad Jackers, I thought this was all a fable before I got to prison. These dudes will walk straight up to the booth, and there's like a 10 by 10 glass wall at the booth. Like, it's nothing but a glass wall. They could see into the dorms very well. These dudes will walk all the way up to the glass, and it's called the gun line. You know, you don't walk line, in yeah, the yeah. gun line. I just thought it, but they're, they're standing shoulder to shoulder talking to each other like and thinking, man, she eating it off the bone. They think they have a relationship with this woman. Because she's getting a little eye contact, yeah. Man, some some of the women do, though. They be eating lollipops and all kind of shit playing into it. <laughs> and it's just like, and this is sick. Yeah, like, yeah, I got yeah, to, yeah. One of the biggest fights I got into was at Macon State was because where my room was, was under it was right up under the stairwell from where the bottom stairs go up. And so you have a view of the booth, and when they come to count, they come around this way. I have, like, the middle vantage point. So I have most eye time on the officer whenever they come in. It was a fem Most female officers in Georgia are female. Well, yeah. I say most female. Most, most prison officer. guards are females in the state of Georgia. So, um, yeah, man, this dude in another organization was in my room jacking, and I walk in the room, and – just catch this dude in my room with his pants down going to town. Oh, hell no. Nah. Look, like, what the hell are you doing in my room, number one? Like, that ain't none of that going down. Oh, so he's not he's supposed to be in your room. <laughs> he oh, felt that. You had because the, you had the magic cell. My bunkmate was in the same organization he was in. Oh, okay. And okay. felt that he just had that right to do that. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no. Man, I, you, you be wiping that on my pillow. Ain't nothing of that going on. In, you know, hell no. Hell no. Yeah, well, it's a uh, right plan, wrong man. Yeah, yeah. It, ain't, it ain't that type of party. That's crazy, man. So, yeah.
that that fight right there caused a, a big uproar with the politics. <laughs> you I know, my, my heads and their heads had to sit down and figure something out because yeah. they, well, they, they have to understand that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, there is no understanding nothing when it comes to opposition. You know what I mean? There is no understanding. Yeah. It, yeah, it gets crazy. Somebody, a riot right? jump off? No, not riot. Not like what you would think of like that, but. I had to fight Buddy two more times. Yeah, I had to fight Buddy two more times. Yeah. All because of that situation. That's crazy, man. He ended up getting up out of my room, and then I was just like, all that was pointless. You know what I mean? All that was pointless. It's a big, stupid ordeal. You know, like, just some of the stuff that they reveal is just crazy, man. In prison... How much money you made locking people up? They make more money keeping us behind the wall, bro. It, it's insane. And the GCI, Georgia Correctional Institute, is its own entity. So each prison does its separate thing, right? One might sew all the mattresses. The other one makes like those crazy looking chomo glasses that everybody got. You, know, you ever see those yeah. prison glasses? They look Somewhat like that. crazy. Man, they look crazy. Those don't, yeah. They look close like that. No, they, they're they close to them, at, but they're not. Yeah, yeah, they're like the bottom of Coke cans. Like, man, oh, like my God. military dude. glasses almost. Uh, I, I love those glasses because you can break them down. It's like a Swiss Army knife. That, like, and that, believe that, it or not, dude, my, I still have two pairs of my prison glasses, okay? All the glasses I buy out here in the streets, they mm -hmm. break. Them puppies are still oh, going, man. Bro, and they've they been get through, through a some nuclear shit. war. Those <laughs> guys, I swear. Yeah, I swear, I used yeah. to tell people at the poker table, take them off, man. I feel like you can see through my cards. Damn take right. them off. Yeah. <laughs> right, them guys, you can see far away. God, I want to play some cards Eagle with you, man. Eye. My favorite game yeah. was uh, Chicago Kings, man. Even though I'm not no Latin king, but I got a nickname in prison by playing that game so much. Dude, I was making yeah. a freaking killing on that game. You ever heard of it? Uh-uh. It's uh, Never heard of it. I heard like it's, Chasing the King or Chasing the Queen. Pretty much the same damn thing. Yeah, Suicide right. Kings. That's why I got it tattooed on my arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. was wild, man. I was peeling people's wigs back with that damn game. Dude, the uh, wild cards, they hit you, man. If you yeah. don't hear the steps when they call the steps in the game, right they there when they're... And you don't hear them steps, man, you'll be all the way out there in the wrong side of the pool, man, because they're going to yeah. peel you back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is what you would hear at I'm a typical uh, wild card poker game, okay? Uh, you know, Chicago Kings, uh, one eyed Jack's wild, Deuce's wild, follow the queen. Uh, you know, you'll hear all these steps, <laughs> yeah. and then you'll be like, Dang, everybody got five yeah. aces at the end of the game, split game. I know, a split, a I split know. pot. <laughs> yeah, I see. When I got out, I play a lot of poker online. Well, I haven't lately, but I used to, right? I used to bet my foster dad $50. I'd hand him my phone and be like, You can download any poker app you want. And put me into like a tournament style, like seven players. And once you get kicked, you're gone. Like you can't buy back in. Because if you can buy back in, you're going to play differently. But if you got X amount of chips and you have X amount of chips, and once they're gone, they're gone, you're going to play <clears throat> like smarter. You know what I mean? And once you're kicked, you're gone. And I bet him $50 that I'll win first place in that tournament. I mean, I have never lost doing that bet with my dad. Yeah. Never. I'm I'm a, so, I'm a blackjack kind of guy now, man. Since I'm in out in the free world, I don't play too much poker unless it's yeah, prison I've only poker. Been to the casino once. I've only see prison poker is so much fun because there's it's it's like you play the board. It's like a board game too. Yeah, you know? it's like a board game. That's <clears throat> and, you know you have all those different routes you could take, and it you swear, man, you're gonna hit on that next flop because it's oh like four God. cards yeah, flopping. Addictive. You know what I mean? It's addictive, man. But it, it sucks when you're doing that to survive, man. Because there's a meat. lot of bullshit you'll that win, comes with eat. it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. playing poker with some good, solid dudes is, man, I love it. I Kills love it. Kills years like, like that, man. But, man, when you got yeah. one person that everybody's like, ugh, man. You know, like, it just ruins the whole night. You know what I mean? You'll have one it's guy It's kind of like, I feel like, let's people. go ahead and, like, pop this shit off and get it out of the way because I want to play poker, bro. You know, yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. You're messing up the vibe. Let's go ahead and fight and get this shit out of the way. I'll give you a honey bun. Go sit down. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's how it goes, man. Mm. Well, look, like I said, uh, strongly think about uh, doing some videos, man. You know, any any kind of videos. You're a very interesting person, man. You got hella stories. You've seen a lot of shit. Uh, you know, think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I've had to speak at a few schools. I told you I was in group homes or whatnot, and uh, they put me on this uh, – it was Board of Governors for the Mental Health Services over the state of Georgia. Wow. And I had to speak at a lot of schools and stuff. So I I really like to, like, mentor and help. Like, that alley and avenue sounds like something that I would try to, I guess, make a reality here pretty soon, actually. That's what's up, man. Well, if you do, you know, uh, I'm definitely bringing you on for part two, if you don't mind. And if you got something cranked up by then, we'll put you out there, my friend.